Good day, sir. I am Christian Benitez Herman, and in this video, I will be going to describe the necessary preparation before the vessel enters the dry dock. As we have seen previously, dry docking is a commonly used procedure for the inspection, repair, and maintenance of ships and boats. The primary objective of this method is to expose the parts of vessel that have been submerged underwater for a long time. These submerged proportions of the ship need to be checked regularly for damage they injure due to the seawater. Since the vessels are massive in size, dry docking is the most efficient way for the maintenance of ships. Given that dry docking is one of the most frequently used methods for repair and maintenance of boats, we shall see the complete procedure for dry docking and the scope of repairs that can be carried out in this video. Dry Docking Procedure and Prosperations the procedure for the dry docking of a ship is not a spontaneous one. It takes months of planning, considering meticulous details about the ship and preparing the dock accordingly. Even the slightest mistake in calculations can lead to drastic consequences. The phases of dry docking are as follows. Phase 1. Pre-docking preparation. The process of dry docking of a ship needs to be planned meticulously. Days before a ship is to be dry docked, the dock master will prepare a docking plan taking into consideration all the minute details of the structure of the ships, hull structure of the ship, location of the drain plugs, and echo sounders beneath the ship so as to not damage them during docking the ship. Phase 2. Preparing a docking plan The process of dry docking of a ship needs to be carefully planned to be executed with ease. Dock masters and designers take aid of a series of sketches and detailed calculations about the ship's height, weight, and structure. The docking plan explains how to successfully dock the ship and also how to easily unlock it and undock it. It also reduces the risk of a ship capsizing during undocking. Phase 3. Understanding the stability conditions. It is imperative for the ship to be stable while docking. The weight distribution of the ship that is to be docked needs to be calculated accurately. Since almost the entire weight of the ship is borne by the keel blocks, the slightest error in the calculations of the stability conditions can lead to a mission. Hence, the stability condition of the ship is analyzed perfectly before the actual process begins. Phase 4. Arrival The ship has to adhere to all the stability conditions on its arrival to the dry docking port. The propeller of the ship also needs to be immersed and the ship needs to have the least ballast. It is best to avoid dry docking if there is a chance of a rough weather. The cleaners and dock master did board the vessel. Phase 5. The actual docking. Once the ship is successful at the pre-docking conditions, the ship is to be tied to the dock since it is not available. The ship is inside the dock. The ship is moored and made secure. The crew then takes over and starts pumping out the water, running the ballast pump, and removing the drain plugs, amongst other cleaning procedures. So when a vessel is dried up, the crew starts with checking the most important parts of the ships for any visible and internal damages. Repairing all as well as minor faults in the ship goes a long way in increasing its productivity. For the conclusion of this video, Dry docking is a great experience for those who do not want to stop learning. The special things about dry docking is that there are plenty of things that a seafarer can learn each time he attends a dry dock. While it might seem to be a difficult process, but if we view the whole process logically, it would seem a routine. Follow up question Do ships really need to be dry docked? And why? For me, yes. Ships must be dry docked because the goal of dry docking is to expose undersea components for inspection, repair, and maintenance. Furthermore, to perform effective repairs and maintenance on sections that are constantly in contact with marine water and are not visible until the water is drained out. It is also to inspect the state of the ships for the safety of everyone on board ships and if, and if there is a problem, it can be repaired through dry docking, avoiding the worst case situation to happen. That's all sir, thank you for watching.